Okay, all you teachers out there, Google Forms has finally reached the point that we've all been waiting for. Now, for the past few years, many of us have been using Fluberoo and the other add-ons so that we can grade assessments. Well, now it appears that Google has changed forms so that you can now set answers and grade quizzes from within forms. So this is a game changer. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. So in your Google Drive account, just go to New, More, and click on Google Forms. And at the top you'll notice, and I've already opened this so it's not gonna show up on mine, but you'll notice a little pop-up that tells you that you can now create quizzes. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to the top and click on the gear, and I'm going to change this to Quizzes, and check the box that says Make This a Quiz. Now under the options, you see that we have some new features here that are going to make your life a lot easier. Now one is the grade release. And right now it's checked to immediately release the grade after each submission, which is great for me because I love to give my students immediate feedback. The other option is to send that grade out after you've reviewed everything. Then below, you can check what the respondents can see, whether they can see missed questions, correct answers, or point values. I like to tell them if they've missed a question, I don't necessarily want the kids telling what the correct answers are to everyone throughout the rest of the day. So I'm going to uncheck this option. So once you've got your settings the way you want them, click Save, and you're ready to go. Now you'll notice one thing that's changed is on my question it now says Answer Key at the bottom. So as I type in a question and set it up as a multiple choice, I can choose an Answer Key item. I'm going to add a question really quick here. Okay, so now here's my question, and if I want to choose the correct answer, all I have to do is go down and click on Answer Key, click the answer, choose the point value, I can raise and lower that, or I can type it in the box, and if I want to leave answer feedback, I can leave it at the bottom. When I'm ready to go back to editing questions, I just click Edit Question. Then if I want to add another question, you just continue as you normally would by clicking the plus sign and adding a new question. and adding your answers. And I don't want to bore you with multiple choice questions here, so once again you just click the answer key item, click the correct answer, and add a point value, and go back to edit question. Now in order for me to see what this looks like in grading, I'm going to have to fill this out a couple of times, and one thing that I've left off is name, so I'm going to add a name option as you should with any quiz. I'm going to make that a short answer and I'm going to move that back to the top. And don't forget with quizzes you can also add the option to collect their username as they log in to fill out your form. But I'm going to put this as a sample test and then I'm going to open up the preview window so I can fill it out a couple of times and we'll fill in some wrong answers and right answers along the way fill out another response and you notice when I click that on submit it showed a spot where I could click to get my score. Let me show you that again. We'll make both of these correct this time. When I hit submit right here it says view your score. So if I had clicked that as a student I could see that I got this question right, this question right, and so I got a total of two points out of two. So immediate feedback if you want to do that for your students. So the other thing that we can do is go to our responses menu and now instead of the normal responses that we would see with a form because this is a quiz we see a distribution of points scored on the questions. We can see that as a summary or as an individual. We can look at each individual and see which ones they got right and wrong and how many points they earned. So this is drastically different because now Forms is being utilized as many of us felt it should have been utilized as a quiz tool or an assessment tool. Now the other thing that you're going to notice is that if you wanted to release the scores by email after manual review, you do need to go up into the settings and make sure that it restricts it to users on your domain and it collects their email address when they fill it out. I'm going to save these settings 
And I'm gonna go in here and actually delete all these previous responses and start over. And you also need to make sure that under quizzes, if you haven't already, change this to later after manual review. Now I'm gonna to go to the preview window, fill this out a third time, and I'll choose one wrong answer and one correct answer, and hit submit. So now you'll notice that the review your score option is gone because I've changed that setting. And if I go to the responses now and look on the individual responses, then you can see it's collected the username or the email address of that student. And at this point, I can release their score. To release the score of the student, all I have to do is go back to the summary and down here at the bottom it shows the scores section this person received one point out of two and if i click release scores then i can leave an optional message and then send the emails and release those scores to them and now that person will receive an email and it just dinged on my phone so i've gotten my response and so it's that fast so hopefully this is a nice feature that you'll all enjoy and it'll give you something to work on over the summer as you prepare for next year. Way to go, Google. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time on the Techie Coach blog.